Good day, teachers. Today, I am going to show you how to make better slides in Google Slides. I'm going to show you a couple of tricks to customize images and make your slides look unique and special. Uh, when you open a blank slide presentation from your Google Drive, it basically defaults to the window that you are looking at right here. They have some themes to choose from over here. We're actually going to close that out because we want to make our own pretty slides. Um, we're going to keep the title slide, but we're going to add some blank slides. And here's how you do that. I'm going to use the keystroke control M to add a new slide quickly. It comes, uh, the default here is this layout. And I'm going to change that because what I want to do is add some images. I want to be have a lot of control over where my images go on my slide. So I'm going to pick a blank slide. From now on, when I use the keystroke control M, it's going to give me blank slides instead of pre-formatted or slides with built-in layouts. So let's go back here. Uh, Google Slides has a fabulous research tool built right into slides and it's under tools and research. And when I click that, it opens up the research window. I want to search for images. So I'm going to choose images over here and we're going to create a background um, with oranges. And you can see it quickly populates with some images. And I'm going to choose this image and I can choose it by clicking on it, dragging it over and just dropping it onto the slide. And on this slide, I'm going to turn it into a background for the slide. So I'm going to go ahead and close my research window. I'm going to drag this image out to the edges of the slide. So it's going to fill the entire slide. Okay. Um, once I have my image filling the slide, I'm going to click on this button that says Image Options. And I have another window appearing in my screen. And here's where I can change the transparency of the image. Um, I need it to be much, much lighter so that I can put words on top of it. So I'm going to make it very, very light. Let's try that. That looks pretty good. I can also adjust the brightness or contrast of my image. And it has some really fun options here where you can recolor your images. I could make my oranges bright blue. I can choose black and white to make an interesting black and white theme. In fact, I really like that look. So let's keep that. All right. Now when, I'm going to close this window out. Now I'm ready. Um, to lay out to the slides so I can start typing on these slides. So I'm going to go up here under slide and apply layout. And I'm going to create some slides with two columns. So I'm going to choose this as my layout. Now, if I want to do several slides that look like this, I'm going to right click on this slide over here, choose duplicate slide, and I can make as many of those as I want to. Now I can add some content. All right. The other thing that you can do is uh, with images as a background, I'm going to open up my research tool again. And this is a great feature. I'm going to, I'm going to search images and I'm going to search and I'm going to filter by license. Um, so I'd like to find only images that I can feel uh, good about not violating anybody's copyright. So free to use, share or modify. And now I'm going to type my topic in. I'd like a, I'd like a little monster. And so here's some monsters that I can use on my slides that are filtered. Uh, this guy is kind of cute, so I'm going to drag him right in and plunk him on my slide. Close my research tab out. Um, he does come in with his link here. Uh, you can change the link or I can actually remove the link so it doesn't exist on my slide anymore. All right, and he's an adorable little guy. I think I'll put him in the corner of some slides. 
and I'm going to again use my image options, make them sort of transparent. There we go. And I think this I think this slide needs a background color. So let's make let's pick a color and add it as a background. Something nice and also light. Um, he's sort of green and yellow. Let's let's go with this. Done. All right, there we go. And again, then if I want this as the background for several slides, I can just simply duplicate this slide over and over again. I can also again go to my uh, slide layout button, choose a layout for these slides, and I'm ready to go. That's all for today. Thank you.